In this video, I'm going to show you how to actually apply the Color Street nails. Um, I've already done my accent nails, but I'm going to show you how to do the other ones. So you want to start off with clean, naked nails. Make sure to wash your hands really good. You want to get as much oil off your hands as you can. You next want to um, clip and file your nails to the shape you want them. Um, I highly recommend a glass nail file. You can use the ones that come with it and everything, but if you want one on hand, these are great to keep in your purse. Um, I had a hard time finding them at first. Um, Walgreens doesn't carry them or anything. I never checked Ulta, and I'm sure Amazon has them. My local grocery store actually ended up having them, and I just happened to spot it one day, so I bought a couple. This one is very well used. Next, you want to push your cuticles back. You don't have to do this every single time. I maybe do this about once a month, just to make sure that you have all that skin out of the way, because you really want it to adhere to your nail, not the cuticle skin. After that, um, if you want to, you can always buff your nails. It makes it a little bit rougher just to adhere better. Once again, I've only done this about two times since I've done it. But it is kind of really nice to get your nails really nice and buffed out for it. So, And next, you're going to want to get your nails. I've already taken them out of the package and lined them up. Um, you don't really want to cut these and open them until you're ready to use them, which is why I've already got it laid out. Um, they're 95% dry, so the moment they're exposed to the air, they start drying, which is why you kind of want to wait till you're ready to do them. Now, if you get up and walk away for a minute to go do something, that's fine. Just keep in mind that about 30 minutes, they're pretty much straight dried. So, um, you can always seal it back if you have an emergency and you need to, um, you need to walk away for a, a little bit longer than a few minutes. You can reseal them back. Um, if you leave them sealed... It, they're not guaranteed to be as good as if you just took them right out of the package, but for emergency sakes, that's an, an option you can do. You can reseal it with a vacuum sealer or with your hair straightener. That does trap some of the air in it, so once again, it's not going to be perfect if you do that, but it is an option. So I've already kind of sized these up, and that's the first thing you really want to do. You want to find the strip that is closest to your nail width as possible. So I've got my thumb, my pointer finger, my middle finger, and the middle one's probably a little big, and then my pinky. So I've got those lined up. Now you want to work pinky to thumb, and there's a re there's two reasons for that. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the first reason is if you work pinky to thumb, you're less likely to mess with these strips. So they don't once they're stuck down, they stay pretty well, but they can move if you really really push on them. So you want to work this way so that you're less likely to bump it on something. The second reason is there are a lot of people that will use your file or your little cuticle pusher to help get rid of the excess of the nail, um, which you can do, or you can use your thumb and your pointer finger to help do that, which is what I usually do. So I try to leave these two fingers for last. So let's go ahead and start. You have your strip here. It has a little clear plastic piece that you peel off and then you kind of get this silver piece here and you lift that up so then you just have your nail strip now you kind of want to work from the center I'm going to grab the center piece and I'm going to line it up against my cubi cuticle I keep wanting to say cubicle as best you can and you work middle to end and then you kind of work on your sides. You're just gonna rub it really good to try to get all the bubbles out, which I don't usually get bubbles, but every once in a while you'll get some and it's easier to see on a solid than a sparkle. And these are Tokyo Lights, by the way. This is one of the most popular strip that Color Street has to offer and I see why, because it's one of my favorites. So anyway, I'm rubbing it out and you wanna try to get at least one side as close to the edge as possible. That way if you have any excess, you're only taking it off on one side. So, there's several ways to do this. There is the pinch method where you pinch the edge. Um, the only reason you're gonna do that is if you're not gonna try to use the second side on your other strip, on your other nail. So like if your nails are super long, you can only get use one strip, you can't divide it. So you can actually pinch it. I'm not gonna do that because I'm gonna reuse it. When you pinch it though, it does, you pinch, crunch the whole thing and it helps to keep, bring these ends underneath the nail so that it's real easy to tear off. The other way is what I do, I'll show you this way first, is I kind of tuck the edge of it against my nail as much as possible and then I'll just take my thumbnail and I'll kind of slice my thumbnail underneath the nail. 
and I just kind of do that. I'll do it again. I'm gonna I'm pressing down on the edge of my nail to kind of get it a crease, and then I'll just slide my thumb underneath it, and I just work my way around. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm on the edge, oops, sorry. So now I'm on the edge here. So you want to kind of make sure your nail is, it's pressed against your nail best as possible. And you're gonna run your fingernail. You might have to do it a couple times. This one, you don't have a nail to run, you know, you don't have your nail to run underneath to slice it. So you kind of want to run your nail to kind of perforate it. And then you can kind of just peel it away. So you see I have my excess there. So now my pinky nail is perfectly aligned. So I'm just gonna rub it again really good. And I'll come back and like finish up the edges later. So if you're gonna do the second side, you can peel this away. Also another tip, if you're just using one strip per nail, um, one strip for one nail, rather than dividing like I just div divided it cause I'm gonna put it on my second pinky. The rounded edges on these strips, especially on like the pinky, this edge here is a different size than this edge here. And the reason they do that is because your cuticles are different sizes on different people. So they give you like two options to line up. So it looks like this side is actually a little bit smaller than this side is. So if you are just doing one strip for one nail, you might actually wanna look at that and see which end lines up better with your finger. I'm not a super perfectionist. I will be honest. So I'm just going to not worry about it because you can always take off excess anyway because this side is a little bigger on the pinky. All right, so I'm trying to line it up along the cuticle and along this one edge over here. And this might look a little complicated, but I promise you it's super easy. I've seen a lot of people put these on themselves that thought they did, couldn't do it. And they did it just fine. Now there is a little bit of a learning curve so like if you don't get it perfect your first set, it's not a big deal. I think it took me three sets to really be 100% happy with every single nail. And um, there's some troubleshooting and I'll be happy to kind of go through that at the end. All right, so I'm gonna show you a different method of how to do this. And I don't usually do this, so I apologize if I'm not very good at it. So let me get my fingernail file. And what you can do is Get, find your edge and you're just going to file straight down. What this does is it cuts it. Just a little easier to do with your second nail because you're not worried about preserving the other side of it. Which I've seen people do it um, with the first nail. It doesn't seem to completely cut the other side of the strip. All right, so that perfectly rounded off my nail there. Like I said, this one, this side of the strip was a little bit larger. So another way to kind of do this cuticle area is you're gonna rub it really good to adhere to your nail. And you can take your little cuticle stick and kind of push it along the cuticle line. I've never actually done this, but actually, I think I like this a little better. It's very precise. And it just kind of perforates it and cuts it for you. And then you just peel the strip away. So once again, perfect. Not hard to do at all. And I'm kind of going really slow on this so I can show you. I'm usually a lot faster at applying my nails. Okay, so a little bit of troubleshooting. Take my strip off. So if your nails are really long, like my nail here is pretty long compared to my other ones. Um, and I, want, I wanted to try to get it on both, both of my nails. This is Rio Red, by the way, another one of my favorites. Um, you can actually stretch these a little bit. Now, granted, you risk tearing them if you stretch them. They can tear up, I mean, they can stretch pretty good. Like I usually will kind of try to rub it down kind of at the end here to make sure it sticks. And I kind of put my finger over it. Um, and then you can very, very gently stretch your strip out to kind of get a little bit more 
space out of it. Now, if you tear it, especially if you're using sparkle or patterned, it, it disguises really easy. If you rip it, you just put it right back on top and you really can't see the difference. So it's not a huge deal if you rip it. You also have a bunch of other strips so you can just take it off and use a different strip. All right, so I'm gonna slide my nail under and I wasn't paying attention. I was paying attention to the camera so I didn't really line up my edges that well on the sides. So I have excess on both sides. So I'm, a lot of times I'll just kind of leave the excess for the time being because I'm trying to get my strips on, especially since it's stuck to one of my fingers and I'll just go to the next nail and go ahead and slap it down. Do the same thing, I'm gonna line it up with the cuticle and then I'm gonna rub it kind of good at the edge here and then I'm just I don't know if you can see that, but my, the tip of my nail is poking out just a little bit. I don't quite have enough for this strip. So I'm just going to gently stretch it over. Oh, and see, I just tore it. So there, you can see a troubleshooting piece right there. I'll show you that in just a second. Okay, so I've got it over the tip there that I was trying to cover. But now, I ripped it. So I got this little edge piece here. Boo. But I've got this right here, so no big deal. So I'm just really gonna place it like right back over it on the edge piece there and just stick it down. <laughs> now, when you do have an excess piece that I just, or patchwork piece like I did there, I'm actually not gonna try to tear that piece like I would here. I'm just gonna leave it for the moment and I'm gonna let it dry for a few minutes. I'll come back at the end because that's a little more fragile and if you try to rip it, it might just rip it right off. So I'm just going to leave it and let it kind of adhere and dry for a second. And I'll come back later and kind of tear the rest off. But I'm kind of glad that actually happened because um, then you can kind of see. This is really not a big deal, especially with these sparkle pieces. When I take that back off, you are not going to be able to tell that I ripped that. So no big deal whatsoever. So I'll go ahead and go back and um, kind of smooth this piece out over here. That, actually, that side worked really well. I'm sorry if I'm sniffling. I'm still getting over a cold that I had like two weeks ago. Doesn't want to leave me. All right, there's just that little bit. So I'm gonna try to hurry up and put these on because I've been piddling. <coughs> Always grab from the middle because you're gonna have less oil. Oh, I did, I did fail to mention, um, sorry about this. The prep pad, um, which I already did ahead of time and I just forgot to mention it. You actually, before you put your nails on, you're supposed to prep your nail beds like this and the pads of your finger. Really feel dumb that I forgot to mention that. But anyway, and the reason why is after you, I mean, you wash your hands to get the oil off, but this has alcohol in it and it's gonna really get the oil off your nails. So, and it also is gonna keep, by doing the pads of your finger, it's gonna keep um, oil off the strip itself so they adhere better. Oh, anyway, that's what those are for. Make sure you do that. Don't forget to mention it. Okay, um, so I'm just gonna try to really quickly put these last, last ones on. And then I'll show you how to kind of do the finishing touches on them. I usually also by the way like with my excess here I kind of keep the little paper strips and just kind of press them on there to kind of get them off my fingertips. Fun fact. My nails are kind of getting a little too long to be doubling up like this. I try to keep my nails just on the edge of being able to use two. I didn't quite accomplish with probably two of my nail sets which is why I had to stretch them. Okay so this one's on. I'm having a little bit more trouble peeling that piece because it was so small. Which, I mean, if you can't really 
get it with your thumbnail, you can always use the file method like I was showing you earlier. Just file straight down. Which you're gonna file anyway at the end of it all, so this is not a bad method to do to get it right. Okay. Rub it down to the end and use this little thingy as my new best friend. I can't believe I haven't been doing this sooner. Which if you order, if you're a first time order, I'll send you these or if you ever really just need one, just ask me and I can mail you some. Um, but they also just come in fingernail kits. Like they're, I think $2 for a big old set of them at Walgreens too. Okay, and get this last little bit here. And I'll go do my thumbnail. So thumbnails, if you're using your fingernails, is a little trickier. So this is probably where the file method would come in really handy. And by the way, if you